Alright, in this video I'm going to show you a couple of concepts that you should first know when you start to play table hockey. When, when you first play table hockey, when you have the puck with your forwards and your, and your center, what, what I see a lot of people do is that when they first have a puck is that they're holding their goalie with their left hand and one of the other forwards with their right hand to try and score in the very beginning. Now this, while it does build awareness for where you hold the goalie rod, it also limits your ability to create, to create scoring chances and make really effective passes. As you can see what I was doing, so, so, so this, holding, holding your forwards and holding your goalie at the same time is not something that I want you to see. So what I'm going to show you here is is a basic passing drill that helps to build awareness when passing the puck between all five of your players on the ice. So the first one we're going to start off with is passing the puck between right defender and left defender. And like all passes, we don't want to touch the goalie rod. As you can see right here, these are nice crisp passes. Make it, making them at least 10 in the row without moving the goalie, without alone touching it, and now passing it to, passing the puck to left winger. Now, now you hold the left winger with your left hand, and or and the, um, yes, you hold the left winger um, left your with, with your left hand, and you hold the center with your right hand, and starting from here, now you're going to make at least 10 passes here, just like that. This is similar to. This is like what we were doing with the, def the right defender, left defender. And now you're going left wing to center, which is about the same distance. And after that, now this is the big switch up when you go from center to right wing, because now you're holding the center with your left wing, left hand, and your right wing with your right hand. So make it, making a few passes there. Again, stick to stick, passing, passing. But by um, you pass with how much you you turn the rods and and um, and that in turn will determine how much power you, you make when you pass when you pass the puck instead of just letting the ice become part of how how you pass the puck. That that's important. And now. The toughest part is going making backwards passes. We're going to start passing from right defend, right winger to left defender, and keeping all players out of the way. We're going to we're going to make these nice diagonal passes. Basically, the same principle of the passes you want to is again, you want to practice passing stick to stick, and and not letting the friction do the work. You want to pass using using the power. Of turning the rods. Look, this is very important because every ice surface, when you go and play in leagues or tournaments, they all have their different speeds. So it's important. So that's why it's important to have your own passing mechanics. Now, for me, I like to do ten in a row. But everyone's different, so if you're really starting out and trying some of these passes difficult, I, I go to five passes in a row, especially on these tougher passes. So now we did left right winger to left defender. Now we go right wing or left wing to right defender, and it's important to on both diagonal passes is you want to make sure the goalie's in the middle, which you'll see a lot of the top players do in the, in their matches because if because the importance of making these backwards passes is to, is when you when you really have to make one is that one you know how you know how to do it and two you won't embarrass yourself by putting the puck in your own net. So, so with our with our opponent's right defender and center out of the way and our goalie in the middle, now we can make the pass again without touch, without trying to touch 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 the goalie. It's fine. It's fine if you touch the goalie rod itself to to move it to the center. Just don't touch the rod. So 
This is normally where I, where, I, where I would do five, but if I feel I can do ten, then I just do a few at a time. And that what I was what I was talking about when when you put the puck in your own net. So I'm going to do five just for demonstration, since this is, this is a tough pass for me. Okay, I said I was going to do five, but I actually got ten, and um, and that completes our little passing circuit. So now, after you do all those passes, then feel free to to do your own variant, whether it's um, whether it's you do five passes between defenders, or you do or you do five passes between left wing to center, then five passes between right between center and right wing, and. Uh, also, you can invent your own passes around the boards, between the defender. Basically, the whole concept of it is to is to is to use your, use the rods of your skater is to use your forwards and defenders to make passes without holding the goalie. And if you do that, then you just might as well find not only your feel but your creativity to play the game and hopefully invent some combinations of yourself.